Now, the Democrats are all set to control the Senate, according to the American Network's report. The Democrats have won the Nevada election after Democratic Senator Catherine Cortez Musto won a tight re-election race against Republican Adam Laxalt. Now, Cortez's victory gives Democrats 50 seats in the 118th Congress, while Republican Senate control stands at 49 seats. The state's Democrats have frequently outperformed expectations in recent elections, and history has repeated itself with Cortez Masto defeating Republican Adam Laxalt for a second term. Masto faced strong headwinds throughout the race as Democrats tried to counter a national hostile environment centered around inflation and other economic issues. According to experts, the latest projection clearly indicates that the more candidates who are associated with Donald Trump and the ultra Make America Great Again movement lost in many states across America. Meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden said that the Democrats' unexpected midterm election success has sent him into crunch talks with China's Xi Jinping in a stronger position. Biden, who is in Cambodia for the ASEAN summit, said that he feels good and he is looking forward to the next couple of years. Retaining the Senate control is a huge boost to the U.S. President Joe Biden's remaining two years of his term in the White House. It means that the Democrats will have the ability to confirm to Biden's judicial nominees. And earlier, the incumbent Democrat Mark Kelly defeated Republican Blake Masters to win the Senate seat in Arizona. Now, for more on this, we were earlier joined by Spencer Critchley, a former communication advisor on the Obama campaigns and an author. Listen in. It's truly extraordinary. Uh, the historical trend has been quite strong. I always caution against people thinking that history predicts the future, and it certainly didn't this time. But the trend was very strong. It's only in exceptional circumstances like the 9-11 attacks when the party that holds the presidency has not seen significant losses during the midterm election. And this is one of those extraordinary circumstances. And much as, as, as a Democrat, I'd like to say that this is a tribute to the strength of Democratic campaigning, and I think it is a tribute to the strength of the Democratic candidates. It's also really a sign of just how awful the alternative was, because following the lead of Donald Trump, the Republican Party really has become an anti-democracy force in our country. And thank God, I think enough Americans are realizing that and rejecting that. And that's probably the primary explanation why this has turned out to be such an extraordinary midterm election. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.